50 most valuable mining companies added over $80 billion in market capitalization over the third quarter, bringing the value of the largest miners to over $1 trillion for the first time ever. The surge was a result of rising gold and silver prices, iron ore prices in triple digits, and a copper price flirting with two-year highs. Measured from the height of the pandemic during March and April, the top 50 index has recovered by nearly $330 billion. The United States government is taking a $25 million equity stake in TechMart as part of a push to reduce the country's reliance on supply chains dominated by China. The backing from the U.S. International Development Finance Corporation will help the Dublin-based battery metals miner develop a nickel and cobalt mine in Brazil. TechMart's project is estimated to hold as much as 72 million tons of ore containing nickel and cobalt, metals key to the production of batteries that power electric cars. Barrick CEO Mark Bristow called on the gold industry to consolidate further and warned of a serious reserve crisis looming. The chief executive of the world's second largest gold mining company said a lack of exploration has seen average mine life across the sector fall from 20 years to closer to 10 years. Bristol pointed to the deal between Northern Star Resources and Saracen Mineral Holdings, which created an $11.5 billion gold giant, as a great example of industry consolidation. The government has temporarily blocked the development of what would be the United Kingdom's first new deep coal mine in 30 years. West Cumbria Mining's Woodhouse Colliery Project has faced steep opposition from environmental groups, claiming it would emit 8 million tons of carbon annually. Government must now decide whether to call in the application or hand the decision back to local authorities in Cumbria, Northwest England, where councillors voted 12 to 3 to grant planning permission. Tesla is in private talks with BHP on a nickel deal as the electric car maker targets higher production and seeks to avoid a supply crunch. Tesla is working to raise the amount of the metal used in vehicle batteries to improve performance and make a push into in-house cell production. Talks between the automaker and the world's largest miner are held up on pricing and no final agreement has been reached.